Example 3.9 of 4.9 for the given textbooks. For details, please see the description below. In this example, we need to determine the missing properties and the phase description for the given table for water. Let's start with case A. In case A, we see that the pressure is provided as well as the quality. Since quality is provided, we know that this phase is going to be a saturated mixture. In order for us to get the rest of the information, we're going to go to table A5, since the pressure is the one provided. Once we go to table A5, we go to the pressure of 200 kilopascals, and the saturated temperature is going to be 120.21. For us to be able to find the value of the internal energy, we're going to use the value U of UF, which is 504.50, and the value of UFG, which is equal to 2024.6. With the values provided in the table, UF and UFG, we find that the value of U, using the formula UF plus quality UFG, substituting these values and the value of the quality to be 0.6, we find that the value of the internal energy is 1719.26. Kilojoules, kilograms. And these are the values that are going to go into the table. Notice that we put the saturated temperature, since it was a saturated mixture, and now we simply add 1719.26. Let's continue with case B. In case B, the temperature and the internal energy is provided. In order to, de to determine what the phase is, we're going to go to table A4 and go to the value of the temperature. 125 and when we see the values for internal energy the limiting values which is for uf which is 524.83 and for the vapor 2534.3 notice that the value that we are given 1600 is between these two values which indicates that our phase is a saturated mixture and the value of the pressure is going to be the saturated pressure which is 232.23 Using the value provided for the internal energy and UF and UFG, we're able to find the value of the quality by simply solving this equation for X. And we see that X is simply U minus UF divided by the value of UFG. Substituting these values that we have, we find that the value of quality for this case is equal to 0.535. And that's the value we substitute in our table. Now let's do case C. In case C, we have a, t a pressure of 1,000 kilopascals and an internal energy of 2950. In order for us to determine the phase, the first we go to table A5, since pressure is provided. We go to 1,000 kilopascals, and we see the limiting values for internal energy. In this case, it's 761.39 and 2582.8. Since the value that is provided for the internal energy is greater than the value of UG, that means that our fluid is a superheated vapor. In this case, we'll go to table A6 in order to determine the properties for this fluid. Now that we are in the superheated water um, table A6, we go and look for the value of the internal energy which was provided at the given pressure. Notice that we have a pressure of one megapascal, a thousand kilopascals, and then we're looking for a value between uh, that is equal to 2950 for the internal energy. We go down the table and we see that the value of 2950 is somewhere in between 300 and 400 uh, Celsius. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to interpolate by using these values. These are the values provided for the internal energy and as we said the value of the internal energy is going to be somewhere in between 350 and 400 Celsius so now we have to do linear interpolation so we do this is the value we're looking for so we write 350 and then we do 400 minus 350 and then we write the corresponding value of u for each one of the cases for the unknown the corresponding value is 2950 for 350 is 2875.7, for 400 is 2957.9, and for 
and once again for 350 is 2875.7 and then we do some algebra in order to get the value for the temperature at that point and then if we do that we find that the temperature for this particular case is 395.2 notice that one of the ways to double check that your results are correct is the temperature that you get has to be within the two limits that you obtain so our result that goes into our table is 395.2 now let's do case D in this case the value of the temperature and the pressure are provided in order to determine the phase we're going to table A5 and evaluate what is the temperature at the given saturated pressure so notice that we have a pressure of 500 and in this case we have a saturated temperature of 151.83 the value that is provided for us for the temperature is 75 which is lower than the saturated uh, temperature this indicates that the phase is going to be a compressed liquid so for this case since it's a compressed liquid you got two methods of obtaining the value of the internal energy either you go to the compressed liquid table or you use the saturated water table for you to be able to use the compressed liquid table the values have to be available in this table since we have a pressure of 500 kilopascals the tables start at 5 megapascals which means that our pressure is out of range therefore we're going to use a saturated water table and what we're going to use using the approximation of U is about the same as UF at the given temperature notice that this has to be done at the given temperature therefore we go to table A4 so once you are in table A4 you go to the value of the temperature and then you use the approximation for UF which in this case is equal to 313.99 and that will be the value of internal energy for case E we see that the pressure is provided and also the value of the quality equal to zero a quality equal to zero is equal to a saturated liquid therefore for us to be able to find the properties we go to table A5 since pressure is provided we go to the table for 850 kilopascals and we see that the temperature is going to be equal to the saturated temperature of 172.92 94 rather and then you go to the value of the UF which is exactly the value for the saturated liquid in this case is 731 and this is the result of our table with all the values for temperature pressure internal energy quality and phase description for water